Hi, I'm Megan Turney. I am a translator from Norwegian and Danish into English. Um, thank you to Translators Aloud for inviting me to do a reading for the Arenda Feature Week. I will be reading a sample of a translation from Danish that I did last year, um, the rather unconventional crime fiction novel 30 Days of Darkness by Jenny Lund Madsen and of course published via Render Books. Um, yeah, it's funny, dark, witty, um, I loved working on it. It is essentially about a um, pretentious highbrow literary author who is challenged to write a crime fiction novel in 30 days and is shipped off to Iceland to do just that and gets involved in a um, live murder investigation. Um, I will be reading from the point where our protagonist, El um, Hannah, uh, arrives in Iceland and meets Ella, her host, and they are driving to the small fishing town that Ella lives in and where the book is set. As they overtake a Mercedes and narrowly avoid an oncoming bus, Hannah starts to doubt whether Ella even has a driving licence. 110 kilometres an hour on a country road. Come to think of it, maybe dying wouldn't be that bad. It'd mean she wouldn't have to write the book. The engine definitely sounds as if it's on the verge of collapse now. Hannah points with her entire body toward the car heater, hoping that she's signalling towards the engine, and then demonstratively covers her ears. Ella nods in a yes I know kind of a way. She says something in Icelandic, switches the radio on and then turns it up for Phil Collins's Another Day in Paradise. She bops along happily, side to side, hands moving with the music, the steering wheel and car following after. The car ploughs forward, now zigzagging across the road. The sounds coming from the engine add to the dissonance. Wonderful. If there's one person Hannah hates more than Jorn Jensen, it's Phil Collins. She refuses to let him be the soundtrack to her death. She fishes out her phone, makes a call, and Bastian answers immediately. A hello would be superfluous. I need you to book me a return flight. Dale not come and get you. No, she did, but she's driven us into a ditch. We're both sat here in the mangled car, and I can't feel my legs. I can tell that Iceland's already ignited your imagination. Ella's great, isn't she? Why didn't you tell me that she can't speak English, or that she drives like a lunatic and loves Phil Collins? Ah, come on. Phil Collins is good. Please, this was all a terrible decision. I don't know whether I was having a stroke or what, but what I do know is that there's a flight back to Copenhagen tomorrow morning, and I'll be on it. What about your novel? It's not a novel, it's crime. Will it write itself? Hopefully. I'm genuinely sorry, but I can't do this. I want to go home. Hannah can hear Bastian release a sigh somewhere in Denmark. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Hannah hangs up, leans back, defeated. Mumbles to herself. Jesus fucking Christ, what a ball ache. Ella slams on the brakes, turns down the radio. They sit there on the side of the road. Hannah sits up, looks around, unsure of what she's looking for, senses a change of mood. Ella stares ahead, eventually leans over Hannah, opens the glove compartment, finds a scrap of paper and a ballpoint pen, then writes, with all her concentration, for an entire minute, as if the words must be extracted from somewhere deep within her. She holds the paper up in front of Hannah, who reads, something that appears to be a combination of broken Danish with Icelandic and English influences. You use massive swearing or foul language. Hannah reads it again, as if she doesn't recognise the words in front of her. Looks up at Ella, not without a significant knot clenching in her stomach. You can speak Danish. Ella writes again. The words seem to come out a little easier this time. The I understand can write a bit. The knot in her stomach tightens. She stays silent for longer than just a dramatic pause. I actually have more beautiful words in me. Ella writes again use them. That was um, 30 Days of Darkness, available wherever you get your books. Thank you.